Drag Queens, thank you guys for tuning in to Foodie Friday. And today we are doing a dressing or a sauce or a dip. It just really depends on the thickness or the thinness. because last week I was exploring getting some kind of sauce with this raw 90 day challenge because we need some kind of taste. And I found something, but I've had to tweak it. I don't know how that tweak is gonna come out. So we just gonna do it. It called for, as you know, I always cashews. Everything is cashews. I can't eat cashews. So I substituted that with sunflower seeds um, because it needed a fat, some kind of fat to combine everything together. So I'm gonna leave the recipe, like I said, I'm just waiting, it ain't, it's not even really a recipe. So I got my sunflower seeds I'm putting in here. I had to soak these in water. You can uh, put them in a bowl like I did. This is just an example a bowl and then I added hot water, covered it up, and it can sit for, you know, 30 to 30 minutes to an hour. Um, I did the same with these, but I wanted to give y'all an example of what it looked like. So I'm gonna put my sunflower seeds in here. Okay. <clears throat> and it also called for milk, even if it's almond milk. Now with almond milk, you can create your own milk with almonds, but you can't do that with sunflower. You probably can, but I hadn't figured that out. And what I drink is flax milk. Uh, and, you no, know, I, I didn't come up with a recipe. So I'm using water. Here by water. So we go see how that works. So I have that, I have the water. And I'm going to add, I have to do a lemon. Give me just one more. <laughs> I thought I was prepared. Okay, I'm back now. So we're gonna start with the lemon. It needed, um, it needed, ooh, just uh, one cockroach, one lemon squeeze freshly and, um, Half a teaspoon of lemon. I'm just saying. Okay, got that. Then it called for garlic salt. I thought about putting in like a, uh, not a real garlic, but um, just a raw garlic. But I thought that would be too powerful because I don't, because I'm not using milk, so we just go with the powder. Okay. Also called for onion powder. And it called for mustard powder. <clears throat> and I did not know I'm learning a lot doing this raw vegan challenge that um, just plain mustard is considered raw. But like Dijon mustard or something kind of mustard with a little hint of what is not. So, and it called for Dijon mustard. We can't use that, so we gotta use it. Got the mustard. And I'm gonna add in some nutritional yeast with this. Okay. 
and a little pepper. Ooh, it's pretty. And salt. Uh, this is Himalayan salt. Y'all know how I've been with this salt. <laughs> Flavor. Flavor. Okay. <clears throat> it also called for vinegar, but I believe that the vinegar and the milk combined does something to make it have this awesome flavor. So I'm gonna hold off on that just to see once I get this taste, this mixture together and see. Okay, so we have it all blended up. I still have to incorporate my um, herbs, but I just wanna give it a taste to see It's mine, so I can double dip. <laughs> okay. Now, I have to put in my herbs. Okay. We're gonna do, oops. I'm just winging it. Chives, I'm not going crazy. It called for a lot of chives. And onion. <clears throat> That's why I say you need to do this for your taste. Because even if you're doing recipes, their taste buds are not your taste buds. And I've learned that a lot on this raw vegan. Because Oh, and this is uh, parsley. I have a recipe book for raw. Uh, she's amazing. I have to get the name of her. I'll put the name in the link below. But she um, has been raw vegan for 17 years. And a lot of the recipes that are in there... <clears throat> have a lot of ingredients. I mean, a lot of ingredients. And I'm like this, I don't have time <laughs> for a lot of ingredients. I try to do, ten, uh, not even 10, I try to do like five to seven or somewhere in there ingredients because life is happening and you want to be able to get all the nutrients that you can, but it's a lot. So this raw vegan journey that uh, me and the 90 day crew is on, we just not that deep. <laughs> we just not that deep. And once you get all the herbs in, um, there's no calling for the blender anymore. You just want to mix it all up with the spoon. <clears throat> and I forgot I gotta add my dill. Fresh dill. And 
And once you get it together, all you have to do is put it in the refrigerator and then it will start being thicker. That's what I'm gonna say. It'll become thicker once you um, set it in the freezer. Because right now it's already becoming a little thick. So here's the taste. It's my friend, y'all. And I'm, I always talk about salt free. That's another thing with this raw vegan. This raw vegan challenge. The salt. <laughs> you want flavor? I know, I know, but when I, once the challenge is over, I can go back to, oh, my even though they sell free. Give me just a moment and I'm going to show you guys how to store it and I'll be right back. And here it is, raw vegan dressing. Like I said, you can use it as a dressing. Uh, once it gets into the refrigerator, probably overnight, it'll start to thicken up. You can use it as a dip. It's up to you, but um, even once it thickens up, you can also use it as a sauce, like on your uh, noodles, your zucchini cold noodles but you can have it on your noodles. And um, it is, it's delicious. So you can create it. You just gotta make sure that you know how by like, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. I will see you on next Friday on Foodie Friday. Bye.